What's up everybody? So today I'm with my buddy Brian again and he is going to take us to another one of those private forestry roads um, that no public access driving on it. I'm super stoked. We're going to be going deep, deep, deep out here today. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Once we get there, you know, I'm, I, I'm sure he'll be explaining to me a little bit about what we're doing, where we're at and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. We are on our way. We're on Highway 38 right now, almost to Onyx Summit, heading, uh, as I said, over by uh, Heart Bar, right? So yes, Heart Bar, which is kind of near the Jenks area. And, uh, but we're gonna be going deep back in there. So enjoy the video, you guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace. All right, you guys, so that peak, that very tall peak right there, we're gonna be going up to the top there. And he's making me nervous <laughs> because he says the road is gnarly. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have him explain once again. So this isn't technically a closed road. It, it was recently, but we're taking a side route um, like we're taking this road here heart bar to a different road and then we're taking that dirt road all the way to the top of that mountain right there right yeah okay okay i can roll this down right yeah okay guys i'm so nervous because uh you know th this guy seems like he doesn't have much fear and he's, he's telling me how scary this road is so i'm excited i hope you guys are too this is great. This is great. I, i'd never get back here dude i would never get back here so this is this is an absolute blessing i don't have the right equipment i i mean yeah my subaru is lifted and i'm sure if i went super slow i could make it but i'm just I don't have the courage if I don't know. We'll make a couple of uh, areas. Oh, sweet. So here's the Heart Bar campground, everyone. A lot of people camping. But yeah, it looks super popular. Oh yeah. And then don't forget, guys, I'm gonna be changing the battery on the camera often because uh, So it'll probably be an hour plus each way. So this is gonna be a nice long video. I'm excited about that. But yeah. No way, bro. I've always just never thought I would ever make it up there. So for part of this drive, you guys, I'm gonna hold the camera out, out the window just for as perfect of a view as we can possibly get since we're not probably going to be driving fast it's not going to be too much wind noise so hope you guys are cool with me holding the camera out the window and pointing in all different directions This is nothing yet, guys. This is nothing yet. I have a feeling it's gonna be like mountains in the road. But I'll tell you what, if we have the right vehicle, for sure.
turning right here, guys. Instead of going straight, we're taking this side road all the way up to the, <laughs> to the top. I am so, so nervous. Big Bear weather and more on YouTube. Please check it out, Tom. No way. Even just back here, man. This camera's getting hot already. That's crazy. What a joke. I'm, I'm going to open this up. Take the battery part off. Thank God we're not going there. <laughs> I that's, just can't. That's the oh, really? Yeah, guys, good luck driving on this road. I just don't want Brian messing up. Even though he drives out here often for his firewood stuff, I don't want him ruining the truck because of me. Because he's a lot bigger than me. And he's a blue belt in BJJ and can squeeze my head right off my shoulders. <laughs> All this fire damage you guys we're gonna be going through a lot more of it Brian says, since I had this out of our window, that we climbed this thing quickly. That's kind of, we're going to be going straight up. This is gnarly, dude. Those of you watching, when I'm in Florida next Wednesday, let me know because we're supposed to have mean thunderstorms every day. Do you guys want me to record something for us? Let me know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's no way I'd possibly make it. There's no way. <laughs> this road is so messed up, you guys. And look at this drop off to the right here. I'm just
Can you guys believe how fast we're climbing this thing? Look at how high up we are. this thing with a huge load of freaking logs and w when he does a couple loads in one day it takes him about eight hours to do two loads round trip from here back to Big Bear again you guys when you need your firewood I'm gonna leave Brian's in information in the description of the video and uh, I would love for you guys to give the firewood king a call He's definitely Paul Bunyan of Big Bear. So does, does your tractor have good clearance too? Our tractor has claws on the front end of it. Okay. So I can just pick these rocks up and carry them to the side of the road. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure the people that come up here appreciate it. Oh yeah. But I have a feeling not a lot of people are coming up here. A lot of people hiking in the PCT trail. So this will run through. into the PCT up here? Yeah. Oh cool. And you go take it all the way through Big Bear. Okay. Crazy, you guys. Oh, dude, I already saw numerous spots where I, I would turn around. Yeah, it was just my team just like, no way. And over there is the backside of Snow Summit, right? Should be. Or on it. Or on it. Oh, okay. Okay. Good point. So we're looking kind of at the backside of Onyx Summit up on that mountain across the way, you guys. And we're going to be going higher than that. <laughs> Crazy. SOS right now. When I moved up here, I had my AT&T that I had had for about 15 or 16 years, and it got horrible service through most of Big Bear, or at least most of the areas that I go, like in the Moon Ridge and North Shore. Verizon was really great in basically all the areas. We good? Battery just died already, and that was only 15 minutes in, or less than 15 minutes into the video. How great is that? So if you want to use the highest quality that this GoPro offers you, which is 5K, 60 wide, 10 bit, um, it's not going to let you do it uh, through a whole battery. 
And these batteries are supposed to last 36% longer with the new GoPro. They, they pulled the Apple, meaning that they changed the size of the batteries so you're forced to buy all new batteries when you've owned all the previous GoPros and spent a fortune on those batteries. So yeah, I'm a little bit irritated with GoPro, to say the least. guys we are climbing I don't know if you can really tell but we are really climbing it might not look that steep on the video but it's steep <laughs> yeah, totally, bro. like I have g-forces pushing me back in my seat right now I mean we are we're, we're going up a steep road And don't mind my face, it seems like every time I shave for like a day I get super red for some odd reason. forest right there. We're going to be going on the other side of that mountain. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's crazy. Like a glove. I would have been in Panic City driving my Subaru, man. This is F350? No. 250? No. Oh, it's a Dodge. It's a Dodge Sorry. 3500. What an insult. One time. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> He's dropping me off right here. <laughs> You guys hear that? He said, this isn't even the bad part. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Dude, seriously. Seriously. I'm gonna keep on moving the camera back inside so I don't cut my arm off with these trees going by you guys. Yeah, totally.
even with no service, I can use my altimeter, which is cool. Good thing there's a car coming out. Is there? Yeah. No way. It's better if it comes down now than later. Dude, I am about 8,000 feet up driving over towards San Gorgonio on a scary road right now. Okay, I got service. I gotta let my wife know. Oh, no way. She's done. Thank you, honey bunny. And baby, this road is so terrifying. I should have brought a change of underwear. <laughs> Oh, that's cool of him. You probably know everybody up here, don't you? Depends. And you guys, I'm trying to hold the camera steady, but this is not easy. <laughs> it's too yeah, it's yeah. The camera's got a stabilizer in it, which will help, but it's not easy. Nah, it's gonna be bouncing. Wow, what a view! What a view! Something else, Brian. This is already crazier than I even anticipated, and we aren't even at the hard part yet. I mean, we are at hard bar, it's not the hard bar. <laughs> it is so scary, babe. There's no way I can ever get my car even anywhere near this place. What's this road called? Oh, I just go on hard bar. So we're on hard bar off of Highway 38. There's a side trail that goes way up to the very top. Basically, one of the mountain peaks right below San Gorgonio. And we're doing this for my channel. This is crazy. This road's crazy. But yeah, that's something I have to remind our friends on the channel about. He was nice enough to stop because the video just stopped again because of the dead battery. But look at our elevation right now. We just crossed 8,000 and guaranteed we're going up at least another thousand, at least. I'm, it'll be the highest point I've ever been in the San Bernardino National Forest. I'm really excited about this. We're basically at the top of Snow Summit, like a similar elevation, right? Yeah, we should be. Yeah. We're, we're, up, a, we're up a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> we're still climbing. guys this guy is doing such a nice thing for us this is so cool he, he doesn't have to do this he's busy he works all the time does jujitsu all the time uh, and he's taking time for us also he has to check this road for certain things also but like 
this is super cool. I really hope you guys do do remember when you need your firewood up here, please talk to this guy. It, it would make me so happy because he supplies most of it to our town anyway, but to get it directly from him would be amazing. And look at that view. Oh my god, Ryan. Oh my god. I, yeah, I think this is maybe the highest I have ever been. Without question, actually. You guys were higher than I've ever been in the San Bernardino National Forest, I believe. I know Onyx Summit's 8,443 and we're about to pass that. This is the change of underwear part of the road. I'm, I'm not gonna look, but I'm gonna point the camera down there. Brian said where the roads washed out so clearly he's up here often or at least often enough to know these things so but that view to the side guys holy smokes that cliff is just looks like no fun if you have a bad day well, there's no trees to stop it's not rolling <laughs> you're going down <laughs> <laughs> That's the roll. Look at how crappy this road, guys. This is freaky. Here's part of a major washout of this road. Jeez Louise, bro. That rock right there would be a cool spot to sit on the rock and just meditate right there. <laughs> for you. <laughs> Not for me. This is, uh, this is incredible, Brian. Look at this, everyone. This is absolutely incredible. I feel like we're on that Palm Springs tram that goes up to the top of that mountain. We're still climbing like a champ right now. Look at that bright green area, you guys. Look at that. Imagine going camping right there, that would be great.
we got to go over close to the edge once again, you guys, because of this big, huge boulder in the road. I hope a lot of you watch this video because I am terrified. So since we were out of the window, he said the road gets good for a little bit and then back to hell. <laughs> oh yeah. We gotta be approaching that 9,000 foot mark. Oh no, we're gonna be going down now. Okay. You guys, we are so deep back here. We are so deep back here. Plenty of room. You got two, two feet over here. Thank you. Dude, that oh my gosh. No, dude, that's, I, I was about to say, you know, I love you, but I'm glad it was on your side. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drop off on my side. <laughs> Jeez. You guys should have seen his reaction when we took that that corner when that huge boulder popped up right in the middle of the road. This guy doesn't get scared of much. <laughs> that, oh man. He forgot to tell me the only way down is you have to go backwards. Just kidding. major fires we've had in the past 10 years since I've lived up here was a reveal party for someone's reveal of <laughs> if they're gonna have a, a baby girl or a baby boy and it caught the whole forest on fire so not only are they gonna have a baby girl or boy but they're gonna have an arson an arsonist the kids favorite band's gonna be prodigy <laughs> Okay, we overheated again. 
Yeah, yeah right? Isn't that hot? I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to put it on the charger, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. That's not a problem. But since they were years ago, they didn't get that many views. But I was going 125, 130 miles an hour on these videos. Just hauling butt on the Harley. Just picture me driving a 14 foot trailer or 18 foot trailer with a tractor on it out here. <laughs> Dude, I, I just... around these hairpin turns. Oh gosh. This seems hard enough with just this. Yeah, it's hard with a tractor that weighs like 9,300 pounds. That's how much it weighs? Like 93 to 96. Plus the trailer, so I'm pushing over 10,000 pounds coming Jeez, out here. Jeez, man. That's ridiculous. That's craziness. Yeah, it's hard. You're definitely just putting along, huh? I'm about this speed. Really? Yeah, this guy brings a lot of equipment up here. It's uh and the the tractor weighs just under 10,000 pounds. It's it's I mean seriously, but we need men like him around here or else we're not going to get our firewood. You need courageous people. They keep us warm in the winter time. It's awesome. Yeah. As I said, hopefully this channel can you know help you out. Not that you need it. Obviously, you don't need it, but any extra business, I, I, it's it would make me so happy. And some of the folks on this channel have really big homes, so they have a lot of fireplaces. A lot of fireplaces. So I just asked him, what's that blue line around that that big log that we saw in the road? And he said, well, that one fell off of a logging truck. So they're all color coordinated for certain things, what the tree is going to be used for. But look at this view, my gosh, bro. That's remarkable, man. I would if I was going by myself up here. But I would have never made it this far, so. Yeah, guys, once again, even though this is an open road, there's most people are not gonna make it back here. 
I have a lift on my Subaru that's made for off-roading and snow and stuff, I, I would have never made it back here. So we can essentially consider this a closed road because uh, there's, I bet you we're not gonna see any cars back here. I think we saw the couple that we were gonna see. Might be one or two, Brian says maybe, but I'm hoping not just so it feels like we are more badass. We've had to change the battery three or four times already, you guys, in less than an hour. Remarkable. Even holding the camera out, out the window, I even took off the door for the battery to let more cool air in, or it's not that cool, but to let more air in. It's still overheating every 15 minutes or, or, or less. So stay away from GoPro if you guys want to keep your, your footage. I did some research, I heard the DJI camera is just as good and they don't have any overheating problems from what I've seen. Phone is in SOS mode right now. I just picture getting stuck back here. No, oh, dude. Out. Oh, dude. That would be that would be gnarly. Especially because I forgot to wear my regular shoes again. I'm wearing these stupid slip-ons. Lucky you. Yeah, I know, right? Don't wear yeah. I was gonna wear my hiking boots. Mission Springs Trail Camp, Sand to Snow, National Monument. definitely be a cool hike I think we that be really they didn't have enough materials to get all the way through the trail the hike came from the backside and then I had to transport them out after I loaded the trailer with logs wow man wow thank God for you being there yeah, they didn't think anyone drove on this road. I wouldn't think that either.
it's one of the most scary roads in the whole mountain at certain parts? Um, I can take you to worse roads. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to get us hurt. I just want to have some adventure like this. This is great. It's the worst trail pulling a load of logs on. Okay, fair enough. But I also pulled a load of logs down Bear Mountain in a dump truck down the, the Black Diamond Run. No. Yeah, I had to get winched up because dump truck's only two wheel drive. I got winched up with a tractor, loaded up, and then came back down sliding side to side. <laughs> dude, dude. So you're on Geronimo just getting wood, huh? <laughs> well, back when the loggers were cutting wood, that was the only way in and out. That's, yeah. Uh... All right, battery dead again. Let's, or not battery dead, overheated. But yeah. Oh wow. I can have you work and help fill up my truck with water right now. <laughs> <laughs> looks like forestry cut up a bunch of biscuits. No way. Yeah, it looks like a tree fell across the road right here. If you need my help, dude, I don't mind. No, this is a great tree. I'll use the tractor when I come back out. Are you sure? Yeah, these are way too big. I'll use oh, the tractor for this too, shit. Do you like the blue folder though? <laughs> so he's gonna come back with his tractor for those those are called biscuits is what he referred them to and they're definitely not limp biscuits either those are some heavy biscuits and you guys funny enough the camera feels like it's about to overheat again remarkable Look at all these trees that went down in the fire. Dude, this is awesome, bro. This is awesome. Now we just clear from that one mountain to about the second mountain. Second mountain so when I was on when we were on Highway 38 and I pointed to you guys, we're going on the top of that mountain. We're on the other side of that mountain. So if you rewind all the way back towards the very start of this video, you'll see what I'm talking about. We're on the other side of that mountain now. Big Bear Weather and More channel after that. <laughs> Anytime around thousand foot drop offs, I have to see about off. So he just brought up a great point. Um, when we were at those really dangerous drop offs, he takes off his seatbelt because if you start sliding, your seatbelt's gonna lock up. And you wanna be able to get out if you need to get out. So that was, I'd never even thought about that. Never even came into my head. Wow, look at all these rock holes. I've done that a couple times when I went to Outward Bound. <laughs> We're going rock climbing here soon, guys. Get ready. it was no but still that's that's a lot so for a, a whole season he's driven out here twice a day he goes all the way back to drop off the wood in Big Bear and then comes all the way back Monday through Friday twice a day for a whole season guys that's crazy that is crazy Definitely 
best prices. He could charge a lot more, you guys, but he's a good, good, good human being. He makes enough f for what he needs, and it saves all of us a whole bunch. That's very, very nice and thoughtful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One N05C. You know, that was just a just a marker. I don't know if it was the name of the trail. Yeah, it takes you all the way to Morongo Valley. This road? Oh. Yeah. You guys hear that? If, if we stay on this road, it'll take you all the way to Morongo Valley. That's pretty crazy. During our huge snowstorms, there were there were there were, were, were people sneaking into town through one of these back routes. Not this one. Not. Okay, yeah, there's the way, snow, way too much snow. Yeah, here. way too much snow up here on this one. I gotta stop coming up here after uh, Thanksgiving time. I'll bet they probably got eight or nine, ten feet from that storm that, that gave us five feet. I'll bet they got that much more up here. Okay, we're coming up to the worst part now, you guys. Oh my god. It feels like a different mountain range back here. Here's the start of the rock climbing, you guys. So get ready. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, dude. It's worse on the next turn. <laughs> Again, that's another reason I feel super safe with you driving back here because uh, you're doing it in a much more dangerous way because you got to carry ten, way more than 10,000 pounds, right? Yeah, we're fully loaded. This is crazy, dude. I bet, man. This would stress me out big time. It's not stress how long it takes. How much further is it? Not that far. We're like three quarters. Three quarters? Yeah. I'm not complaining. I just want to just, 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 just so you guys get a sense of how far he has to drive just to get one single load. Oh, look at this, you guys. <laughs> wow. Guys, we're looking down from probably close to 9,000 feet all the way down down the mountain range. It's too hazy to see anything, but it's you can tell. Dude. Dude, it's going on the back side.
ready. Let's do this. Battery or the camera overheated again, you guys. I'm gonna try not to keep on mentioning it, but I want to so everyone knows how horrible these GoPros are. Yeah, it's a beautiful picture, don't get me wrong, but you're gonna lose most of your footage if, if you don't recognize when it's shutting off. When you're on your motorcycle, you'll never hear it. You'll, you'll never know. I just can't imagine fighting a fire this size, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Next time. Huh? Well, fixing your seatbelt. Oh, thank you. Well, we just almost died before I could use it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were rolling backwards. <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing because I assumed you could do it, you know? Well, I didn't know it was going to look like your window. That's the end of the car. Well guys, we just rolled backwards a little bit. It was fun. Scared. <laughs> Are we through what 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 you said is the hardest part, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Guys, we've made it through, you know, the hardest part. I mean it still looks pretty rough to me. But this is what Brian does. That's the point. That tree was blown over by the wind. Brian knows these roads so well, you guys, that he can tell if trees have come down, and those are definitely from the wind. That's pretty crazy. That is really crazy. journey far guys because we are technically in the Morongo Valley area unbelievable and a different county like Palm Springs County or like something right or whatever yeah that's crazy I would have never guessed that oh that pretty cool. Trust, so <laughs> that's so. Oh, that's gnarly up there. 
So he just joked with me saying that we're gonna go over that ridge and it just drops straight down. But I trust him, you guys. But he said he's joking. <laughs> we're at 8,500 feet, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we've been going downhill for a while. So, oh, all right, so that does lead me to believe that I, that we did hit the 9,000 point. That's, dude, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. I took one of these back roads, not this side, but on the back 18, and I ended up in, in, in a place called Pioneer Town. And I thought I like tra like like I transported into a oh no you just a, a different dimension. I'm like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> guys I'm gonna record going back also because it's gonna be a completely different view completely different view because we're gonna be looking the other direction so hopefully you all enjoy you blew a tire out right here yeah oh my gosh before that's right yeah. here on this spot You have logs with you, you said though, right? Yeah. I blew down on the trailer, not the truck. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't bring a chainsaw, so I hope that tree's not blocking in front of us. Oh, well, you could probably pick the tree up. Okay, cool, we go around it. Like the one time I didn't bring my saw, there's a tree across the road. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine getting all the way back here and then getting ooze sprayed because of a little, not a little, but because of a tree in the road. When I told you guys we were going on a crazy road, I wasn't joking, huh? Yeah, that big old tree. So, is is that all stuff you would use That's right there? That's all mine. That's all yours? Yeah. That's what I didn't take last season. Wow. I ran out of time. So for you, it, it's, it, it's best if we get a later snow season, right? Yeah, if we get snow after Thanksgiving, I'm happy. If we get it before, then I don't, I'm, I'm done taking this road. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Wow, there's, there's, there's the desert, you guys, right down there. So this is like the Palm Springs side of the desert, right?
like a totem pole, but it's not. It's just a burnt. Oh, geez, so what? <laughs> yeah. So that's the technical Morongo Valley, I think, right? Unbelievable, you guys. This is unbelievable. How are you doing, Brian? Good. Good. Yeah. I have reset my phone so my service resets. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about doing that. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm back in SOS. Yeah, I gotta reset it so I can send my wife a text. Let her know that we're doing alright. She don't hear from me for four or five hours. She's gonna call for sure. <laughs> That's why I keep texting my wife too, just so she knows I'm alright. She would have been freaking out on this. Off. Does it really? I never been around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Oh, great. The furthest I've been is right here to this log deck. This is the last log deck I was working on before I stopped last season before the snow came. So this is where you'll come out twice yep. per day? Okay. I'm down. I'm down, bro. So he's never been past here, guys. So we are going to find out what's back here. Oh. oh, maybe it's just these logs right here. And those are yours too? Yeah. Maybe this is it. I guess that's it. No kidding. Yeah, probably. That's it, guys. I guess. I don't know. Because there's the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cause the, yeah. The boat stops right there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, all right, guys. I'm going to grab another battery because it's going to overheat while we're out here. Guaranteed. So this is log deck number one. It's got the number one on it. And this is all Brian's wood, you guys. Just a small pile. Nope. No big deal. What's up? Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at that view. No so that was literally it. Yeah, the road's gone. No so this more. is where the road would have gone to, you guys. But uh, Brian is strong, but I don't think he can move that boulder. Or that one, or that one, or that one. Yes, the road's gone. It just goes right there and then dead end. Wow. We made it, guys. We, we, we came all the way to the very end of the Heart Bar Trail. I wish I knew how to zoom in on this GoPro because I, I really want to zoom in. Is that Mount San Jacinto? That nah, tall one? I don't, you don't know? Sure. Okay. We are up here, man. This is incredible. Yeah, we're standing on the edge right here, you guys. Oh, we're in Desert Hot Springs. Oh, we're in Desert Hot Springs right now, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we're like 8,500 feet up because it's not 113 right here. Yeah, look at that. 116, 114, 111, 113, 114. That's, that's crazy. yeah, that's. <laughs> dude. We're so lucky to live up here. I couldn't imagine doing my YouTube videos there because this thing would overheat every 10 seconds. Yeah, that's the wet. That's the the closest weather that I'm popping up is Desert Hot Springs. 
So on our phones, when we check our weather right now, desert hot springs. Not Big Bear. Not Big Bear, not San Gorgonio, not Sugarloaf. It's desert hot springs. So we drove all the way out here. Dude, we are so high up here. I've never seen the floor from way from from this height. I've seen it from the top of Snow Summit, looking on the backside of the mountain down through that canyon, but I've never been this high up. It's something else, man. Just... Okay, guys, so once again, I hope you can see how high up we are. I mean, seriously, we are up here. We are up here. And we made it to the very end, but we're gonna take a little walk to see exactly where the end of this road is. I'm wearing my stupid slippers, even though I love them, they're super comfortable, but not for being up here. I'm watching out for snakes because it is still really hot up here. Definitely not wearing the proper shoes and there's, I don't want to, oh man, there's rocks and stuff. I don't want to shower this. So this is where it would come to. So that's the end, huh? That's it, you guys. This is the end of the road. Just drops off. Oh, just like I drop off. I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, you guys. We're not getting through there. Literally the end of the trail. You didn't shortchange me at all, bro. Nope, keep y'all in. Oh, How cool is it that Brian did this for us, you guys? I mean... In the winter time, I'm, I'm not trying to be greedy, but do you think I could do ride in the snowplow with you one time? We'll see. Okay, fair enough. We'll see is good enough for me. <laughs> I can't believe it. We made it all the way to the end. And again, you guys, this, this is one of the numerous piles of wood that belonged to him. So you place bids for all this, right? No, they sell it to me for uh, a set price. Okay. Man, that's a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood. No, it's not that much, right? It's not? No, it's only like 15 quarts. Really? Yeah. How about big one than this? By like 100 feet long, by like 6 feet tall. This small. It's almost like a wood bringing track around here. <laughs> oh man, that's just solid. All dry wood. Yeah, oh yeah. Thank you again. This is, this is, I've never had a better view in this whole mountain range than what we just had up here. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I know you did. Let's make sure my wallet doesn't fall out of my back pocket. All that money I don't have in there. All right, we are out. We are Audi 500. As I said, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to record on the way back, and when we get back to Highway 38, I'm going to shut it down. But I want you guys to see the view going back. Yeah, that's awesome. We made it. Stuff like 
focus that you have to have on yeah that's that's the part I just I, I, I just can't imagine really impressive that you can even get out here without a trailer and then to take a trailer pull tons yeah it's crazy Once we get back to like the first part of the trip, it's like uh, home, oh, home just about only another 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, this trail sucks. Again, guys, who th those of you who are still watching, remember that I would never have ever made it back here ever. This would be a part of the mountain range I would have never ever seen, and that view I would have never seen either. So we owe Brian a lot. He's, he's, he's doing a lot for us. I want to show you guys all the beauty up here. I want you guys to come up here and visit, have a good time and just see all the possibilities. You need the right truck to make it up here. I don't suggest any of you try it, but those of you who do stuff like this often, take this trail. It's beautiful. easier than uh, than it, it would be because yeah. I drive on a lot of dirt roads up here too but nothing like this I do want to do the, the Jeep experience rent rent one of those Jeeps oh, from Desi? yeah, yeah. And, and, and take it back on one of the roads but I'll ask them what they suggest I, Oh, Gold Mountain Trail. It's the easiest one. Really? Yeah. Okay. Gold Mountain Tower. And if Brian has time, you guys, he's uh, uh, there's a couple more little little areas that he's considering taking us to, like inside of a mine, where where we walk about a half a mile in until the very end, turn around and come back out. I think that's gonna be absolutely terrifying, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>
again, I apologize for it being so bumpy. There's there's nothing we can do. That's just how this road is, you guys. I just want to stop it for a second, let the camera cool down, and make some phone calls. Hang tight. Goodness, you knew. Okay, mine says LTE, but I don't have any bars. I know from trial and error. Okay, I just sent a message and it went through just fine. Tom, this was the most incredible view I've ever seen. From almost 9,000 feet up, we went to the very end. The most horrible. Um, the most incredible road I've ever seen. We drove all the way in the park bar, it took over an hour to get out and go around the field for about 100,000 feet. It was just incredible. That was so awesome. That's crazy. That's crazy. Something else, man. I had no idea what to think about where we were going. I just knew I was terrified. <laughs> hey, look at that little chicken.
stopped using iPhone when uh, they started controlling when you need a new upgrade. Yeah, I had a problem with that too. And at the same time, they changed the charging ports, so you were forced to buy yep. more more charger. Yeah, it's just it's so weak, man. But because I was so used to it, I just with that. This road what? So if it wasn't so damn rocky. Yeah. Oh yeah. It wouldn't be that bad. Can't stand this trail. Makes me feel even better that you did this for us, man. And that's on the Baldwin side? Uh, I take you er, up Van Dusen all the way to the top, make a right, go all the way down towards Baldwin Lake, and then it's right on the left. Okay. So, in our valley, basically. Er, yeah. Okay, okay. Is this whole mountain range gold, or just certain areas of it? Uh, you, you don't know? Sure. When we went to, uh, um, what, what should we call it? Uh, Grout Creek, the tributary over there. Yeah. When it just dried up, we thought we found a little bit of gold. I mean, dude, it was so bright, so shiny, uh, flakes, and, and I thought it, it really was gold because of all the uh, erosion from all the water coming through that it may have brought some from the surface. But, Cave with a waterfall inside the cave. Yeah, it's not a crazy waterfall. No, but still. It's like a decent waterfall, I guess, like a stream kind of waterfall. That would be awesome. Guys, I have the best tour guide friends up here. Ray, who takes me on these hiking trails. Brian, who takes me on these trails I would never drive on because I don't have the right equipment, I guess, it's, or the courage. It's awesome, man. I owe these guys a lot. Again, we would never see this video on this channel if it wasn't for this guy. Imagine what it looked like before the fire. Probably shade everywhere. Yeah, just, way nicer. Yeah. But this burnt look has its beauty to it too, you know. Like it's uh with all the green growing around it, it's it's just it's I don't know, it seems like I'm driving through a fairy tale right now. Or a nightmare. That's how you look at it, you know. The what does? This trail sucks on the weekends. Why is that? Because when I have a load of logs, I'm not backing up on that cliff side. Oh, sure. Sure. There ain't no way. Yeah. So the other cars 
Yeah. It's not like I'm out here Monday through Friday. That's smart. That's smart. You should you should post a sign at the very bottom every time you're like coming up, just saying you know, fire, f forestry, firewood, yeah. in progress. Be aware, you might have to back up a mile. <laughs> I still have to go check the trail on Knickerbocker, the Coyote Trail. Okay. Yeah. I got one over there too. Wow, uh, yeah, with all of this mountain. Yep. Knickerbocker, Moon Ridge, Bluff Lake, Hard Bar. Is the Knickerbocker similar to the Pine Knot area? Because I think I took the Pine Knot Trail for a hike. Knickerbocker, you just make a left to go up past the village. Up on Cameron? Yeah, and it goes like, no, not that one. It's uh, before that. I'm trying to think how to explain to you. Okay, you know where First Mountain Bank is right there? Yeah, yeah. You go straight up that road. Okay. All the way to the top, and then you switch back, and it goes right into the Moon Ridge Forest. Okay. <laughs> Takes you all up in there. Okay. Behind Bear Mountain. Oh. Behind Steel Summit. From there? Huh? Skyline. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, guys, I forgot to mention. There's a chance because 2N10 is going to be closed for a while because of the fire last year and the damage to the road because of trees and stuff. That, there's a chance that Brian might take us back there because he might have to do some work back there anyway. So we might be I able might to... have some wood. Yes, he might have some wood back there. So keep your fingers crossed. Never been back of Bear Mountain. Never. That that would be awesome. I've taken the. I've taken it back there. If I would back there. Sure. I can take you back there. If I got to to Forestry to see if I have any logs back there. Because when I bought the last little bit of logs, they pretty much said you gotta have what's left, and it's all scattered throughout, like little log decks, like the one I just took you to. So I got that one. I got two like that over in Lower Moon Ridge. I got another one on Knickerbocker. You got another one right here? Well, these ones were all quarters. Steve Porter bought all the beginning ones. Okay. Until we got to where we had a rock climb up there. Okay. And then those are just logs that don't fit on his logging truck because they're not long enough. They just fall out between the forks. That's why he left them. Wow. Yeah. Normally means Steve will share what's left or what's out here. That's nice you have a relationship like that. That's really, yeah. that's really nice, man. Because I bet this could be a very cutthroat business. It could be, but... And shady-ass people, too. Yeah. But if I ever need wood, like last season, I wasn't able to get wood because I was doing the snow removal. I was able to call Steve up and he delivered me split wood ready processed from him. Good. Are we good for another 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah, so Porter's is pretty good. Same with Miles. There's, yeah. no, there's no real competition up here. I sell my wood mostly log form to Miles and to Lit because I don't I don't have
have enough time to get the wood and process it for everyone who wants wood. So I sell it in log form for wholesale price. They process it, they resell it. But if they ever have customers that they can't fulfill, they give them to me. Or if I have customers that I can't do, I give them to Porter's or Miles or Lit. We're all pretty much on the same team, just different businesses. Yeah, that's, that's very fortunate. Very fortunate. Because, uh... He owns his own business, and then during wintertime, he works for me. Certain, for snow, only for snow, not for wood. And then if he ever needs any help, he always calls me up like he, if he needs a tree cut down in town that he needs a second opinion on, I have no problem going out there and helping him. You just yeah. have to have people on your side. But that's earned respect for sure. And I really like Miles too. Yeah, like, Miles is good. Just a cool dude, man. Like, I know Miles since he was 11 years old. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Before he got started in the farming business, I know. He started selling them because of me. <laughs> I was just going to ask, were you somewhat of an inspiration to him? Well, his dad used to sell wood, but then his dad used to buy it off me. So that's how I met Miles. Miles used to drive in those tractors back when he was 11. He's an awesome operator. Yeah, it sure seemed like it, especially when he was yanking you out of my driveway yeah. because of me. And then uh, also when we went on some steep snow plowing driveway, or to plow some steep driveways. Dude, like, it's, it's, it seems almost scientific how he, uh, like, uh, puts down or moves the, uh, what's it called, the boom to one side. Yeah, he knows how to do the counterweights and he's an awesome operator. That's why I hire him during wintertime. And he goes on all throughout the night, too, no questions asked. It was kind of shocking to me because uh, when there's so much snow, like knowing exactly where to plow out and where not to, like that, like I was like, how, how is he doing this? Like, like knowing that there could be a like a power part or, or, yeah. or like like Water it's, it's, yeah, dude, like crazy. excruciating but yeah I for seven hours yeah seven hours later. I'm gonna cut my bone in the back with a pair of pliers oh, oh my gosh dude. Dude. dude they didn't put you out no I was away oh it was funny that the old man next to me he broke his leg and his knee was sticking out because he was trying to put a refrigerator up a uh, second flight of stairs and he fell down the stairs with the refrigerator and when they were cutting my bone with a pair of pliers it was slinging across the room and he was cussing at everybody <laughs> because he didn't want to get hit by any of it oh my gosh dude i'll never forget that either that show was funny how long ago 
did this happen to you? Uh, maybe 2011, 2000, yeah, probably 2011, 2012. Oh, jeez. Do you ever get missing limb syndrome? No. I did for the first two years, but then not no more. For sure the first two years. That's that's gnarly, dude. I mean, that's... I work with it just fine. It's not too bad. I mean, I was in the culinary field, and that was my biggest fear, was... Because I went to the Art Institute for culinary management, and I was I was really worried that I was gonna chop chop off a finger. Yeah, after I got the finger off, I started working with some loggers, and then I had people almost cut trees down on top of me. So, oh, uh, fingers the last thing to worry about. No, yeah, pull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you got your life on the line too. But it, it depends where you cut your finger off. You know, if you don't have the proper help, you could lose extreme amount of blood. And no, I stopped the bleeding on the, on the scene. It was just when the paramedic cleaned it out, it was spraying, he reopened it. Oh my gosh, dude. So I had to get airlifted. Oh. It was just driving down. helicopter ride. So you got stuck with that bill? I got stuck with the bill, but it, I don't know if Medi-Cal took care of it later on because I never got anything from it later. That's just crazy. 22 grand because you you can go on, obviously it's a, 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 a medical evac, sure, but you can pay like a hundred bucks or 150 and, and go on a short ride up here for the tourism. And so that's why it's shocked. But I guess because they have so many crew, how many people were on the chopper? Four, okay. So they got all those salaries plus the gas, plus the e emergency taxes and fees and stuff. Like, yeah, it's just crazy, man. Yeah, there was uh, two nurses, me and the uh, pilot. No. Way.
curve and she <laughs> I mean, I didn't think you were joking, but I didn't expect it to be this long. Is it still running? The creek? Yeah. Most likely. Look how green all the stuff oh, yeah. is in between. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it has to still be. It has to still be active. Yeah. I was pointing out that beautiful green area on the way up. It's like that's where I said oh, I would love to camp right there. Oh yeah. Brian just got a new tattoo today. So that's why he's got that that I, I know in the camera it looks like a cast, but it's just uh it's just a wrap. Yeah, it's just a wrap. because of uh, especially like this and then going all the way up to the top back there. Oh dude, it's, that's the best view I've ever seen up here. 
that's why I was really, really bummed that it was it was pretty hazy out there. But at the same time, like I'm just I'm, I'm grateful to have actually been here because we're we're way up here. We are way up here. You guys can't imagine how much snow this area gets. Just huge amounts. Probably double what we get in the Big Bear area. Guys, he's been so patient because this battery has died so much and every time it dies he literally hits the brakes so I don't miss anything so seriously talk about patience I mean it's a lot of patience the stress of having to drive on this road is enough get a sense of how, how high we are.
Yeah, it's more fun. Sorry about that, guys. I had the camera sideways for like five minutes. And I didn't even realize it. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Hold it like that. Talking about Starbucks, and my mind got, got you know, a little warped there. Yeah, see, my my dad, he's a doctor, and so he was always working. And when he wasn't working, we had season tickets for the Lakers, for the Dodgers, for the Kings. You, uh, all the UCLA football games, UCLA basketball games at Poly Pavilion and stuff, because that's one of my dad's alma maters. And uh, so I got to experience lots. Of, like, I've been to World Series games, NBA Finals games. Super Bowl at the Rose Bowl. Um, like, like, those are things I got to do. But as I got older, I wish that that was good stuff like that. We never did.
Seriously, you could hardly see that green area because it was so hazy from way up there. Now it's just right there. Yeah, guys, we are almost through this insane road. Hope you guys enjoyed the heck out of it. I sure did. That view at the very end was just unbelievable. I hope it comes out good on video for you guys because it was something else. Yeah, dude, you just let me know because my my GoPro Hero 8s are fantastic cameras. Like it. Oh, I only need like one, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, you just let me know. I just gotta take them up, but that won't be a problem. Just let me know. That's me. That's not a crime. Try plotting. I use too. I got a MacBook. I don't use it. I bought it when we went to Oregon. We watched Jurassic Park on it one time, and that was it. Well, I'll tell you what. You, you got the best thing out there. Yeah, the MacBook I bought was brand new. It was the last year they did the touch screen. Like the touch screen bar on it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. I actually just recently bought another one. And I, I maxed out all the specifications and it was $6,200. But I bought it because my, and this was in the middle of, of, of winter time, my, my other MacBook Pro, my 2019, the screen died. And I was panicking because I have to upload these videos. You should have just got the Apple computer. My wife got the Apple computer and it's the best thing for editing and everything. I was thinking about it but I wanted to be able to easily take it with me and I got the biggest one they had too. Yeah. But I ended up sending my MacBook Pro into Apple and it cost me 700 bucks and they fixed it. And then I still had time to return my brand new one. So I did and got my six. That's how I got all, all my Apple products, all my boxes. I maxed out all the specifications that they wanted. So I got the best, fastest system. Yeah, I cost a lot of torsion, but you know, that's uh, that's
the best tractor you can get. I'll let you focus here. Yeah, buddy. Guys, that's where we would have turned around coming up here. Right there. We wouldn't be giving. Yeah, right at the beginning, we wouldn't have made it any further. But seeing these other trucks that weren't lifted get, get through here, who knows? Yeah, they're breaking shit though. Yeah, totally, right? Yeah, yeah, completely. At least breaking stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and some shit, you know, you never know. Absolutely gorgeous back there. Picked you up at 3:30. Did you really? And it, oh my gosh! It's, wow. You were right. You said it would be like four hours or so round trip, right? Yeah. Eight hours for two trips. Guys, this is a video that I'm gonna be so excited to go home and watch it and like fall asleep watching it. I know my voice is gonna keep me awake because I never shut up, but it's it's, it's gonna be a beautiful video. This road here, guys, you can't make it because it's completely washed out with boulders and trees. That's IN37, and that gate's closed. Yeah, there ain't no getting up there. If you had to get back there? Nope, can't no. get in there. Okay. You gotta hike it. The road's gone. Gone, gone. Where did that road go? Uh, landslide, went down it. <laughs> oh, no, no. Where does it lead to? Oh, I don't know. If, if there's, oh, you've never been on that? Oh, wow. It's been closer as long as I know. Oh, okay. Santa Ana River Trailhead. Alright, guys, so this is where we turned off from Heart Bar. I wish they had a sign here that showed you what that road's called. But I'll try to look it up on the trail map.
was getting nervous just looking at this road. Those are the people with a little extra money, I'm saying. Do you know anyone who does the equestrian stuff up here? I what? Where, where my wife and I could like uh, go. back to the asphalt we made it safely so yeah guys I think that's probably gonna be it for this video but I just want to say thank you again for everything thank you for enjoying I, I hope you guys enjoyed I am definitely uh, um, relieved to be back down on on regular ground right now but it was quite an experience thank you Brian I appreciate it a lot and uh, again I'll have Brian's information you guys for all the firewood stuff that you need and uh, um, yeah, not the, I, I don't think he, he's going to be doing as much plowing, but last year he had 360 uh, residents and businesses that he, he plowed regularly. So I'll probably just do private parties this year. So yeah, it, it's, it, yeah, but uh, it wouldn't hurt if you guys asked him because you never know. So just know he's our king of the firewood and the king of our plows. So. He's, he, he's the man's man up there. But thank you again, Brian. I, yeah. I appreciate it. And uh, once again, this is Heart Bar Road, you guys. Hopefully you guys can figure out how to get here, those of you who are comfortable, and enjoy the most incredible view I've ever seen since I've lived up here. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. We'll see you when I get back from Florida. Bye, you guys.